What's good fam? Today we've got a lot to do. It's gonna be a hectic day. Right now I'm at the recycling center, gonna turn in some cans, cleaning out my garage, and then I've gotta go make a stop at the Goodwill, and then go to the bank. Hectic day. took care of all the errands I had to take care of today. Now I'm heading into GameStop before I go to work to see if I can get Mario Kart 8 tonight. Unfortunately, there's no midnight release, so we will not be playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Edition tonight. We'll be playing tomorrow, and I'm so backlit. Oh! I also bought Kingdom Hearts mini blind bags. I don't know why. So I'm a few minutes away from clocking into work. Had to get a coffee before because I'm going to need it for this shift. But I got a couple of these blind bags. Uh, I'll probably open them when I get off work. Now forget it. So let's see. Let's see what I get. Oh. I got Axel. Okay. Opening the other one. Okay. I got a Donald. And this last one. I got a second Donald. Damn. All right, I'm gonna go into work. I'm probably gonna be late because I did this, but whatever, it was worth it. All right, so I'm off work and today was a very successful day. At the start of the day, I was a bit worried because I had so many daunting tasks, so many obstacles and dilemmas that I had to get over before I could even think about doing anything else. But by one o'clock, I had completed all those tasks, taken care of business, was able to nap, and then I went to work and I feel pretty good about today and just everything in general. I don't know if you guys were able to pick up on it, but the beginning of April, I was just, I was not feeling it anymore. I felt like quitting. And that's one of the reasons why I picked up this VEDA challenge, because I thought that it would be able to reinvigorate me and make me continue along this journey. I thought about quitting. I thought about stopping because in myself, for some reason, I just got this idea, I was poisoned with the idea that I wasn't good enough. And there are factors on why I felt that way. A lot of it had to do with a girl that I was chasing after, and just things didn't work out the way that I wanted to, or the way that I wanted them to work out in my head. Looking back on it, I'm glad that I played the cards that I had because one of the things in life I think that I am the most guilty of is sitting at that card table. We're going to use a card table as the, the metaphor for life. And it's sitting there, and I'm sitting there at this card table, and I am just sitting there not playing the cards that I have. And I think a lot of people do that. I think a lot of people just sit around and wait, and they don't make moves. They're not bold. And... I think I would have succeeded earlier if I had the guts to play my cards earlier as if they were better cards than what I really had, but I decided to wait until I felt like I was in a winning position, and I was not in a winning position. I should have been bold. I think if I would have done that, I would have won, but I waited too long and in the end lost, and that's fine. I'll take the L. I will take the L and I'll wear it proudly because it's my loss and I'm, I've learned from it. I've learned from it. And had I not taken that loss, I would not be here right now making this video. I would not have met so many amazing creators during the VEDA challenge. I would have not, I, I would have not been inspired by all the videos that I had been watching. And I am very inspired by everyone's videos. I'm very inspired by all the hard work that people are putting in. It's very motivating and it makes me 
want to do more work myself. I feel like with the content creation, I am not owning up to my full potential. I feel like I'm not owning up to everything. And yesterday's video sh sort of showed you that. Like, I show you little bits and pieces of my day, but I feel like I'm not being personal. I'm not opening myself up to you. And that's what this is, and that's what that video is. It's, it's me opening up, it's me being raw and real, and just letting you know that this is life, and this is what I'm going through, and this is my journey. I just caught myself in this vlog doing what I do in life, where I hold my tongue, I bide my time, I only give a little bit. And that's, I, that's, that's not what I tell people. I've told plenty of friends that they're not giving enough and I just have not taken my own advice. And I'm gonna try to give more. I'm gonna try harder. I'm gonna be more of myself. I'm gonna give more. Because like, what's the point if you don't? What is the point if you don't? And that's, that's just how I feel. I was just very demoralized because I really, really wanted it. I wanted it so bad. And I came up short. I took my shot and I missed the mark. And I was very demoralized about that. I felt like, well, if I can't win there, then I can't win anywhere else. And then through this month, everyone that has just joined the community, you guys have really just empowered me. There were just so many days when I would be having a great time. I'd be having a great time. And in between those great times, I would just let out a sigh and then a profanity under my breath because I was just so disappointed that I didn't have something that I wanted and I tried. But over the course of the month, I've taken a step back and realized that I have a lot more myself that other people don't have and that other people want, that I do have something of value that people want. And I should not care that I lost there. Just take the loss, move on, and learn from it. And I'm doing it. So hopefully there's some sort of takeaway, there's some element of value from this weird little rant in front of a brick wall, in front of a closed building in a strip mall in California at 11.30 at night. Maybe it's that if there's something that you want, take a step back and look at what you already have. Because you'd be surprised at what you already have. And don't be focused on what other people have because that's when you're gonna start losing. Focus on what you have and work towards what you want. I think that's what the main takeaway is. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna end the video here. I've got plans early tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm gonna meet with my friend Amy tomorrow. We're gonna pick up Mario Kart. Uh, so I'll be vlogging that, so I will take you around with whatever shenanigans and fun that we have. And then I do need to run more errands for life, sort of like I had to do today. So tomorrow is sort of starting off similar to today, and but there will be more fun times, and not just by myself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.